there, Flea Floggle here, and today I am going to be reviewing a hip hop album. Now then, um, hmm, um, I am going to be reviewing an album called Three Feet High and Rising by a group of hip hop rappers, whatever you call them, De La Soul. De La Soul uh, basically continued their career from the late 80s, which is their debut album here, like 1989, to 2004, I think it was around the course where they stopped making stuff and went on to um, do other contributions like uh, Go On To Feel Good Inc. by Gorillaz, that's them, they do the rapping. And also went to Gorilla's uh, Super Fast Jellyfish. That is also then rap. So, um, judging, if you judge from the rap and then, you could say that they're good from back here to the actual albums. So I have to say this is an excellent. It's very, very, very good. Known as the Sergeant Pepper of hip hop. So that caught my attention. Um, this has 24 songs on. And I usually do track by track. So, and since I usually do a minute a track, this is 24 minutes. Not really, because I am not going to be hitting here 24 minutes to review it, and I don't think you want me to review it for 24 minutes. So I'm going to basically give a quick rundown, point out the best songs, the worst songs, and give a all-round conclusion. First time Free Feet and High Rising was very unique. At the times of usually in this, gangster rock was coming into form. More serious tones, there was... Um, Lot use some more profanity, uh, more songs about sex and drugs and gangster violence and stuff like that, what you'd see nowadays. But um, Free Feed Harry Nizen was unique in a way that it was much more light-hearted, it, had, it has comedic effects, um, it, it's some serious tones, very slightly get all fang, or I don't know how you say get all fang or whatever. Um, that's probably the most serious one, but all the others are supposed to be light-hearted, and you're supposed to, you know, enjoy them in that sense. Um, also a little profanity in this album, very little. Uh, so it's sort of child-friendly in a way, in a way. Um, getting on to the actual songs, there were two four singles which is free of the magic number or the magic number buddy uh i know and me myself and i uh me myself and i and the magic number are probably the more famous ones and um yeah the, the, i wouldn't have chosen buddy as a single i don't think it's that sort of sense apart from it being contributed with the jungle brothers i suppose that might give it more popularity i don't know Favourites on the songs definitely include all the singles, they're all excellent songs, especially The Magic Number and uh, I Know. Those songs are amazing and capture the whole album perfectly well. And both songs give a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Apart from them and the singles, uh, Treadwater and Daisy Age are both psychedelic hippie kind of thing, which is very interesting and I like. Oh, Jennifer Taught Me, that's a very, very good song indeed. Uh, it's probably one of the most catchiest done here. Um, very good song, as well as Get All Fan, Change and Speak, and Intro. Least favourite would probably be De La Orgy. Um, if you ever wanted to hear an orgy for a minute as a song, you might like this, but sadly I don't. I find it very disturbing. Um, a few others feel very uh, filler like can you keep a secret so Della does as I said it is modernized but it's still not my kind of thing I can do anything as well um, I suppose it's supposed to show them having a good time which is all very good and all that but I'm sure they'll have plenty of good times when making the better songs album will seem very cheesy but first time it wouldn't there are a lot of the classic DJ scratches that you can hear, for example, and uh, <clears throat> Jennifer Taught Me, which, although is ruined a bit by that kind of cheesiness, is still an excellent song. 
Although, as said, there are 24 songs, and you can't really expect all of these to be full-length songs. This album would probably go on forever and ever if that was the case. There are quite a few full songs. <laughs> um, five, I'd say. And, um, that's okay. Just, yeah, they're not that good. There's, it's something that you'd probably expect in outtakes. But I suppose that's what gives it more comedic effect. It just shows them having fun, which is very nice. To conclude, if you're a hip-hop fan, I really do recommend this. It's an excellent record. I'd rate this an 8.7 out of 10. Uh, pros include many, merry, cla merry, merry, many classic, very good, feel-good songs. It, ranges, it has a very good range uh, from reggae, hip-hop, rap. Uh, sometimes it's a bit cheesy here and there, and some songs are definitely filler-like, but that's what you expect with 24 songs, to be honest. Unless it was a double album, which it isn't. It was back then, when it was on vinyl, but it isn't now. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, uh, have a very good day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh!